Hey folks, how's it going? 5,000 subscribers! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here on this crazy mad journey with me. It's been so much fun. You know what? It's, it's the craziest thing. Two weeks ago, I posted that I got 4,000 subscribers. I was so happy about that. And two weeks later, 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Terima kasih banyak-banyak kepada semua yang dah subscribe, yang menonton ni video-video kelakar saya yang gila sikit. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with this camera because it, it can't seem to focus on light. <laughs> it's light and dark and light and dark. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So anyway, I uh, I just wanted to say a very quick shout out. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's been great. I'm driving my my BMW E30 right now. I'm heading off to go and uh, have a wobble checked out. See, that's the thing with old school car ownership. You know, you never know what's going to happen. And the next thing I know, this car suddenly developed a wobble on its steering wheel. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like the steering wheel is wobbling. See. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm. And uh, as you go faster, it gets it gets even more wobbly. So you gotta get it checked out. Now the thing with old school car ownership, you have to get these things checked out because they're not gonna get better. Like I said before, I mean the car does not have an immune system like you do. You know, you get the flu, you're, you're suffering for a couple of days, maybe a week, and after that you get better because your body fights it, fights the virus, fights the germs. Germs for a car cannot get better. It's like rust. It will never get better by itself. You know, so ignoring it. It's not gonna let it go away. It's not one of those things where you can just like, maybe if I don't look at it, it will go away. No, you gotta get it checked out. And it's the same thing for anything that goes wrong with the car. The, the aircon is fantastic. So, you know, at least now I've got the uh, aircon going really good. Uh, thanks to Kelvin at Denso in, uh, in uh, Taman Mega there. But now I've gotta go check out this wobble. I have no idea why this wobble is, has suddenly appeared. Is it the, the balancing has gone out somewhere? Or, you know, maybe one of, the, uh, one of those lead weights have gone flying off? But uh, whatever it is, it doesn't feel like it because uh, if it was wheel balancing, I could probably feel it from the start. If it was the upper or lower arms, I could probably hear it. But this is something else. This is something else and I don't know what it is. So I have to go and check it out by a professional. Gotta go get it checked out by a professional. Can't do it at home. I don't have the equipment for it. So yeah, if you own an old school car, you need to always, always check these things. And uh, they're not gonna get better by themselves. So you have to get it done. You have to go get it done because the key with old school car ownership is two words, preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is key. You need to get this done. And uh, oh my God, my smart tag is stuck underneath my handbrake. Yes, a regular handbrake. And I can't get it up without pulling out the hand, putting up the handbrake, but I'm driving. So go on in there. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Close one. But anyway, so yeah, I'm on my way to go get this, this thing checked out. These things bother me, you know, they really do because um, I, it's not like my cars are concourse or show cars. You know, they don't, they're not trailer queens. They don't uh, get trailered to events for everybody to take pictures and ogle at and then put back on the trailer and, and, and you know, go back home. No, I drive my cars. Uh, this one is possibly gonna go on a long distance trip very, very soon. So how, how, do, you, how do you go on a long distance trip if, if you've got all this wobble? You know, it's, it's just not right. I mean, you gotta get it sorted out and I'm in the wrong, wrong lane. Great. <laughs> There are barriers here and I can't cut across. So I've got to go make a U-turn somewhere. But it's okay because uh, it'll give me a little bit more chance to drive this car. Yeah, this wobble is something with the steering maybe. Could be the steering rack, uh, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get it checked out by a, by a professional because this is, uh, this is definitely not something that you can do by yourself. But other than that, the car is running beautifully. I absolutely love driving this car. I mean, you know, three pedals, five-speed uh, manual gearbox. These are the things that you really, really must have when it comes to proper old-school car ownership. Now, it's not to say that, you know, my 126 is any less an old-school uh, classic car. I mean, it's got an automatic gearbox, but still, it's still, it's still old-school. However, as far as driving is concerned, the two cars may be made in Germany, but they could not be more different if they were, you know, one made in Zimbabwe and the other one in Australia, because they are, they are completely different in so far as the driving feel, the driving experience is concerned. And that's what I love about them. I, that's what I love most about them. It's because they are so different that, uh, that that's what appeals to me so much. And so anyway, uh, digressing, just, just thought I'd do a very, very quick shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for the uh, 5,000 subscribers. I mean, I can't believe it myself, really. Uh, it's been an amazing journey and there's so much more to come. Uh, Cars of Malaysia is coming up, Evo Enduro is coming up, I will be at both of them. Uh, hope to see some of you there. Uh, if your cars have qualified, go check out the, uh, 
the link for um, Evo Enduro. See if your cars qualify, see if you qualify, and uh, so much more coming, guys and gals. So please stay tuned while I enjoy my car and try to battle Malaysian traffic. Yes, I know you don't want me to cut in, but thank you anyway. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, okay, so that's it. <laughs> Just a very, very quick shout out. Thank you again, thank you so much. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Uh, the next video you see will be something about how I got into this game of, uh, of motoring journalism. Uh, it's quite a story, I tell you, so I, I, think, I think you might enjoy that. It's, it's another one, one of those uh, talk shop series which I hope you're enjoying because it's quite fun I mean I love doing cars and everything but every once in a while I gotta gotta do something a bit different you know and uh, see I'm signaling you know BMW drivers do signal <laughs> yeah so okay anyway I better concentrate on my drive and I'll talk to you all soon take care bye